How to make a Stuart 5A crosshead lubricator. Part 4. Completing the job. All I need to do now is mount the tank to the steam engine and assemble the entire unit. On this 5A, part of the sole plate casting sticks out a bit and this is an ideal place to mount the tank. In the first part of the job, I'm going to clean up the tank and make it shine. Which is more difficult than it seems. On this box section brass, it's drawn and it's very uneven. The end cap's polished up nicely, but the main body of the tank had one or two marks in it. This is down to the manufacturing process and the marks are too deep to remove. But it looks shiny enough anyway for this application. What I'm doing at the moment is measuring the distance between this protrusion on the sole plate. Now I need a flat plate to bolt to the engine and bolt to the tank. After cutting this piece of brass on my bandsaw, here it is. I've marked the positions on the casting where I'm going to drill a couple of holes. And here I'm marking the positions on a piece of brass using my calibrated eye. I know I should have been a proper engineer and measured it and marked it out, but I prefer to do it this way because it's the only excitement to get in my life these days. As you can see here, I drilled two holes in the piece of brass and guess what? They lined up perfectly with the marks on the casting. And without further ado, using my Proxon motor tool, I'm drilling two holes, one eighth of an inch in diameter, exactly on the marks that are made on the casting. And once again, when using these motor tools, if you're using a thing like a Proxon, which is very powerful, that's good. Because you can turn the speed up and then put enough pressure on the Proxon motor tool to slow the drill down so it cuts the cast iron. And as you can see from this clip, it's cutting the cast iron very well indeed. Here it's just breaking through. And here it's just about to break through on the other side. The good thing with these motor tools with larger drills like one eighth of an inch in diameter, the machine isn't powerful enough to snap off the drill bit in the work as it breaks through. The next part of the job is to use a 964 of an inch diameter drill and drill through clearance size for 4BA and here I am fitting a 4BA bolt and as you can see it is just clearance size because both of the bolts sit in the hole and don't fall through. But I must confess that I enlarged the holes in the brass part to 5.32 of an inch to just give me a bit of tolerance. Just in case you're wondering I haven't bled all over the piece of metal. This is some red marking out fluid sent to me by a man called Norman, who also sent me some blue marking out fluid. And this stuff would be really good for painting trick-or-treaters on Halloween night because it doesn't wash off. I'm going to use the blue marking out fluid on the tank because I think I find this better. I've drilled four holes exactly on the marks on the piece of brass plate. And now by using a very strong spring clamp, I've clamped the piece of brass plate to the main body of the tank and I'm scribing through the position of the holes for the bolts in the tank itself. And with the tank in the machine vise, it's time to drill tapping size holes for 6BA bolts in the underside of the tank. As brass is a soft material, you don't always need to use a centre drill. By just touching the drill on the top of the brass very gently, it makes its own centre mark before you then drill all the way through. And despite the distortion caused by the camera angle, Everything lines up perfectly. Before bolting the brass plate to the tank, I'm using some Loctite 542 to seal the holes. And I've also applied some of this stuff around the holes so that when the bolts are tightened, it will spread and really seal the brass plate against the tank. I'm using 6BA bolts with washers, and I think the job's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, though, this is underneath, so you won't see it when it's bolted to the engine. The mounting plate is securely fastened to the tank. All I need to do now is bolt the mounting plate to the engine. This is quite a thick mounting plate, so it's really good for securing the tank to the engine. Which is what I'm currently doing. I'm holding the nut at the top with my Barco spanner, and then using an ordinary spanner on the head of the bolt at the bottom. These small Barco spanners are really good for this job. I'm using it end-on on the nuts, and because of the width of the jaws, it doesn't round the nuts at all. With the oil tank securely bolted to the engine, it's time to mount the oil pump on top of the tank to pump the oil. And to do this, I'm using four 7BA dome head bolts, which are just long enough to go through the mounting base of the pump into the tank itself. One side's done, and now I'm fitting the bolts in the other side. 
and here is the finished item, fitted to the engine, ready to take some oil. And once I found my oil can, which for some reason I temporarily lost in the workshop, I'm pumping some of my lubrication mixture into the tank. And now with my excitement at fever pitch, it's testing time. I connected a piece of silicone rubber from the pump outlet into the inlet of the tank. And when I lift the pipe out of the inlet and start pumping the handle, you can see that it's pumping a good amount of oil at each stroke. The test is successful, so I may as well fit the cap to keep any foreign bodies out of the oil tank. This clip is especially for the viewer who commented when I fitted the first oil pump on the left that it was playing havoc with his OCD. But now look at it, there's a tank on the right hand side to balance the one on the left hand side, but oh no, it's a different shape, and it's lower, and it's longer. Never mind though, life is a bitch and then you die. To fully complete the job I need to pipe the pump to these two unions that supply oil to the crosshead trunk guide. And I'll make a video about this just before I test the engine on steam using my Castle V6 boiler. And that's it for this episode. I made this video on Easter Sunday 2019, so enjoy the rest of the holiday. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website. Click on the section of the website that says video playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.